Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Android developers might find familiar. Our viewer is currently using the popular library Retro Lambda in their project, but has recently upgraded to Android Studio 3.0, which introduces built-in support for Java 8 features. The question is, how can they replace Retro Lambda with these new features without running into issues? Let's break down the situation. After updating their project and removing Retro Lambda, our viewer successfully built their Gradle files. However, they encountered a crash when running the app, specifically a no such method error related to Lambdas. This raises the question, are the built-in Java 8 features not functioning as expected? And what steps can be taken to resolve this issue? Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully getting you to that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and get through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. In this video, we'll address how to replace Retro Lambda with built-in Java 8 features in Android Studio 3.0. First, let's understand the issue you're facing after removing Retro Lambda. After removing Retro Lambda, you encountered a no such method error related to Lambda expressions. This indicates that the Java 8 features may not be properly configured in your project. To enable Java 8 features, ensure that your compile options in the build.gradle file are set correctly. You should have both source and target compatibility set to Java 8. Additionally, check your dependencies. Ensure that you are using compatible versions of libraries like RxJava 2, as they may also affect Lambda functionality. Finally, if the issue persists, consider cleaning and rebuilding your project. This can resolve any lingering issues from the previous configuration. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The issue may stem from a bug in Gradle's Java 8 desugaring process. This bug is documented in an issue tracker. The desuger process renames synthetic methods that start with lambda dollar but it does this without checking existing references in the bytecode. As a result, when the code tries to access a renamed method at runtime, it leads to a no such method error because the method no longer exists. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped, and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.